What is up, YouTube? We're back for another show and tell back on schedule. We went to Belmont and the thrift shops in Belmont were fucking sweet. I'm gonna get straight into it, so let's do this. Let's do it. Show and tell. I've got three bags of shit. Let's do this. Show and tell, baby. particular order from <coughs> no particular order from the uh, thrift stores that I went to so it's all just chucked in and from the list that I made okay so bag one uh, so first up um, no money's going in the kitty yet for these ones uh, but we got uh, four seasons of two and a half men 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 me men 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 Two and a half uh, men, we've got season 10 with Ashton Kusher, uh, season 8, season 6, and the 11th season with Ashton Kusher as well. This was 12 bucks for the four of them. Uh, they're going to go into my pile of the other ones that I'm going to lot up. And it's just made me think, what do I have? I've got season, I've got season 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 already. Uh, now I've got six, eight, ten, and eleven. So I need nine. I need nine. So I need season nine and uh, seven now. Nine and seven, then I'll uh, sell them off. So, you know, when you're paying two bucks each, I'm just going to get some good bob there. Okay, these were 50 cents each, some blank media, uh, 195 minute tapes. These were 50 cents each, and if I lot them up, I should be able to get 25 bucks, 20 to 25 bucks for them, so, so 25 in the kitty. I don't know why people still buy blank media, but they fucking do, they fucking do. All right, we got some VHS tapes. We'll go through the VHS tapes before we go through the clothes. So we got this estranged uh, making of the estranged uh, Guns N' Roses part four. Uh, this was 50 cents. They did have three dollars on it, but they gave them to me for 50 cents. All these videos, I'll be able to pick up 10 bucks for this one. Uh, Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion two. I'll be able to get 10 bucks for this one as well. People buy them. Uh, this ACDC uh, VHS one. This is a Bon Scott one. This Bon Scott was sell for this Bon Scott one was sell for 20 bucks. Uh, 20 bucks all day long, put it in my hand, put it in my hand. Another 50 cent one, that will turn into 10 bucks. 10 bucks into 50 cents, thank you very much. Another cool ACDC one live at Donington. A few people have this one listed, so this one will take a little bit longer. Unless I undercut them motherfuckers. Uh, Corey Fieldman in National Lampoon's Last Resort. Um, Corey Heyman, Corey Fieldman. Uh, they're doing a doco soon about Hollywood child molestation or something. Uh, so when that hits the theatres, this might sell, um, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, I think. Um, so, but this will still only be a ten dollar one. But maybe I should. Uh, I only put ten bucks in the kitty, um, but um, the prices might raise on it because uh, Corey doing his uh, little doco that he's doing. Always keep in mind those little things when they. Um, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't need to explain it. Do I need to explain it? I don't need to explain that. Uh, this was 50 cents, I'm not going to add this to what I spent because this is for myself, this is a Walt Disney Classic, not worth shit, I could probably get maybe fucking $10 for it, but it's a Little Mermaid, and I had a Little Mermaid when I was a kid, and um, I love Little Mermaid, and can he walk down the aisle, can he walk down the aisle at our wedding to kiss the girl played by violinists, so we love the Little Mermaid, I'm going to keep that. Judge me if you will, but the Little Mermaid is sweet! Uh, these Walking Dead seasons, I've got the third season and the second season, these were $2 each. Uh, not going in the kitty today, those are going down on the bottom shelf uh, to lot up with when I get a whole heap more of the Walking Dead. Um, when I get a whole heap more of the Walking Dead uh, seasons, so like I said, if you pick them up, seasons for $2 or $1 each, uh, save them and lot them up. I'll show you this anyway. I uh, picked this up for a dollar. Was it a dollar or two dollars? DVD game, Eddie Maguire, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Uh, this is not to resell. Um, this is uh, for me and Kelly to play because uh, 
we like this shit. We like playing these stupid little games. Too bad he's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> I've got this vintage um, Nutella glass. Nutella? Uh, this vintage Nutella glass. This is a 1995 uh, Nutella glass. Yeah, this was sold for about uh, 10 bucks when I looked it up. A few people have it on there, but this was 50 cents. Oh no, it was a dollar. Fucking hell, I paid a dollar. So this was a dollar, but um, that's okay. Nice glass there. This was a fucking awesome score, I really thought. Um, this one only cost me two bucks. This is Jim Henson's The Storyteller. Um, now, you, everyone knows who Jim Henson is. If you don't know who Jim Henson is, so the storyteller, I don't know if you saw this when you were a kid, or short stories, cool fables and all that. Um, this is the two discs. This is this complete. This is complete. Can't believe I scored this for two bucks. Uh, this is a very, very popular DVD and get some good cash on it. And uh, I will easily, easily pick up $60 for the kitty for this one. Easily. And when this gets listed, it will sell. It will sell straight away. I'm positive. Have I already listed it? I don't know. Have I listed it yet? I filmed this three days before I fucking put this out. So, I probably haven't listed it. Or I might have. I might have picked my game up. Anyway, look out for Jim Henson's The Storyteller. I'm telling you now, that does sell. That does. Second bag! Second bag! We got clothes! Now these jeans, Dibbed H&M jeans. I saw, I, when I saw these jeans, I thought to myself, holy shit, a painter. A painter is fucking, a painter is fucking uh, put their jeans in and they're selling them with paint all over them. But this is the style. This is a fucking style. So these are fucking nice jeans, I thought. And at $5, I gave it a punt. These will only sell for about 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Am I? Just let me know in the comments. Am I undercutting myself if I put them at 25 bucks? But um, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. And while we're still learning, whatever. Then I got some. Uh, I got some Rough Rider jeans. You guys remember Rough Rider? Yeah, these are big, baggy, baggy. What's up, yo? Yo, yo, what up? What up? Rough Rider. Ah, uh, where's the logo? There's the logo on the back. So they're gangster style jeans. Uh, they're an all right, Nick. Um, they were $5, uh, size 40 Rough Riders, but looking at the comps, uh, looking at the comps on the Rough Riders, now like, tell me if I'm wrong or not, because I'm going by comps and all that, and what's sold and all that shit as well, um, but these Rough Riders, uh, looks like I can get around 50 to 60 bucks, so I'll put 60 bucks on there, I I'm positive they'll go for 60 bucks, some homie G gangster will want them, uh, this pair is an Echo, Echo, do you guys know this Echo brand? I think I've heard these guys talk about Echo. United, and United, 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 United. Not bad pair of jeans, in pretty good shape. Uh, at first I thought, oh, there's fucking holes in them, but uh, apparently that's the style. Um, nice, uh, nice button, um, infinity stitch. Uh, it's got pockets, and it's got little bits there where you can put your belt through it. And, um, and it's got front pockets if you want to put your phone in your front pocket. Uh, these ones uh, look like I'll probably only get about 30 bucks for it, so I'm going to put 30 bucks for the kitty. Once again, if you think I'm undercutting myself, let me know. Um, but they were nice enough. There is a tiny little snag in the uh, plastic bit there, but that's okay. Um, so 30 bucks from $5 while I'm still learning. Uh, jeans and that. I'm happy with that. Now fuck me dead if I'm lying. But would you believe it? Would you fucking believe it? Two time nudie champion. Nudie jeans champion. <laughs> there we go, that helps. Nudie jeans. Nudie jeans. These ones feel really, really new and nice. These ones don't have any holes in the pocket or a hole in the crutch so your balls can hang out like my last pair. So these nudie jeans are looking up comps, looks from 50 to 60 bucks. I'm only going to put 50 in the kitty because I'm going to undercut motherfuckers like there's no tomorrow just to move this shit while I uh, am getting jeans and shirts. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Second pair of nudie jeans. Brad, have you got a pair of nudie jeans yet? <laughs> uh, this kind of 
bun me out and once again tell me if I'm wrong. But the kitty doesn't lie, okay? I found these jeans, they look like just fucking normal jeans, like all the other pairs just look like fucking jeans to me, everything just looks normal. But these ones here, are uh, AG, Analog or whatever, Dylan Ryder Signature Jeans. Dylan Ryder Signature Jeans, all I could find, um, selling, were... $80 to $130 and stuff like that. Now, maybe they were new or I don't know. But anyway, I, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit lost on these ones. So maybe really in the comments, uh, let me know. But I'm going to list these at 80 bucks. Um, so I'm going to put 80 in the kitty for these ones. But it sounds weird that someone would pay $80 for a used pair of jeans someone's balls have already been rubbing on and ass and shit for 80 bucks kitty doesn't lie okay this brand delusional by design Australia has anyone heard of delusional by design Australia I picked up this shirt because it looks like a little fancy shirt that someone would wear at a nightclub, they're going out to try and pick up chicks or whatever they're doing, or they want to look fancy at their fucking club. So anyway, I picked that up. The material, man, it is fucking nice. It feels nice and silky. I think it is silk. Silk. So this is silky. Um, I could find nothing, nothing on comps by this brand, Delusional by Design. Um, now a lot of people say don't buy stuff when you uh, can't find anything on comps and also I couldn't even find anything for sale by this brand as well but I'm taking a risk uh, I'm gonna take a risk because it does look like a really nice shirt and even if it only goes for 20 bucks whatever not a big deal not a big deal so that was six dollars that was six dollars so six dollars into 20 bucks hopefully or 25 dollars uh, but I'm not putting that in the kitty because I have no idea about that one, so we'll leave that out of the kitty. Uh, I need to just go back. Uh, the the Divid the Divid H&M uh, skinny jeans were five dollars. The Rough Rider jeans were five dollars. Echo jeans were five dollars. The Nudie jeans cost me nine dollars, and the Dylan Ryder signature jeans cost me nine dollars. So I just realised I didn't say what they cost me. These were fifty cents each in the plush area. You fat cat and another fat cat. One of them's a telethon fat cat, but these fat cats uh, from 50 cents should fetch 20, 20 dollars each, 20 bucks each plus postage. Um, so two fat cats, uh, two fat cats, one cup. Ooh. One last bag, and it's the Lucky Peel Thunder Bag, two time, two time Premiership champion. Okay, so I picked up this, ugh, I didn't want to pick it up, but I picked up this kids size 14 West Coast Eagles jersey. It's an official jersey. Didn't get a bingo for it because it is uh, a team that's in my state, but it's an official jersey. Uh, I picked that up for $5, and I should be able to get 30 to 35 bucks for that one. Um, so make sure you always look for the kids sections for uh, footy jumpers because uh, you can pick them up cheap. But um, yep, yeah, that one, uh, I'm going to put 35 in the kitty because I'm pretty sure that was sell to one of those uh, mongrel fans. Just kidding, we've got a rivalry, I'm allowed to say that, I don't hate them, well I hate their club but I don't hate their fan. I got a bingo with this one, this one cost me $9, this is a St Kilda jersey, this is a really nice jersey this one. Um, I've got to research more what year it was, I think this is a 2005 jersey. But I should be able to get 60 bucks for this. It is 3XL. 3XL, but there's not many of this uh, jersey out there. And some have sold for 80, some have sold for less. So I'm going to put 60. Um, let me know if you think I should put more, but that's a pretty good jersey. And that is a bingo right there. That is a bingo because Saints are not my state. Second last, second last, I found me another, and I'll tell you once, I told you once. Don't make me tell you again. Don't make me tell you again. How many times can I tell you? Look through the bed sheets because I found another Star Wars. Now this one's not vintage. This one's not vintage, but it's pretty fucking sweet. We got a Star Wars bed sheet. This one cost me five dollars, 
and I should be able to get 40 bucks for that. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me tell you something with uh, bed sheets just to help you out. And this is all like, and no disrespect to housewives, but anyone that's like a housewife that um, does sewing and all that as well. I had this idea and I thought of it when I picked this up and a lot of the bed sheets that were there, like the Wiggles ones and uh, Dora the Explorer and whatever was there, you know. Why don't, why don't, and I couldn't do it. This is not a business idea for me. It's just an idea, but um, sheets that aren't really worth anything, these will be, but sheets that aren't really worth anything, why don't uh, you chop them up sew them up and make uh, kids curtains out of them and sell them on uh, Facebook Marketplace and uh, Gumtree and all that type of crap and uh, make kids curtains um, out of uh, old bananas in pajamas and um, Superman bed sheets because they would make great curtains and blinds for the kids and then the kids have got not only something on their bed they would also uh, have um, curtains of Ninja Turtles or Fireman Sam or whatever their fucking favourite thing is. There you go, there's just an idea for all the uh, people that are at home all the time and that can sew and have got talent like that. Um, that's an idea for you guys because I can't do it, but uh, I reckon it's a great damn idea. Um, when you're paying less than $5 or less for bed sheets, and you can make some curtains out of them, they might, the curtains might sell before the uh, bed sheets. Just an idea, just an idea. Okay, last but not least, this was my holy grail of the thrift. I paid $18 for these. $18 for these. We've got Reebok pumps. Reebok pumps. Good nick. I think they're female ones. They're only a size 8 USA. Um, Alexa light, whatever that fucking means. I did look it up. But they're in pretty good nick. I paid $18 for them. Um, I couldn't believe it when I found them. I wish they were a part of the bingo thing. Um, pretty cool. Looking at comps and sold, I can get 150 bucks for these. So 18 bucks was worth it. So 18 bucks into 150, I'll be stoked. I'll take 120, but 150 is uh, what I'm going to put them up at. Maybe even more, to be honest, and then let someone uh, knock me down and uh, give me an offer. But that is pretty fucking sweet right there. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like it when they dribble up and down the court. All right, sweet. Okay, so we spent $98.50, $98.50. Clothes are digging a hole in my motherfucking pocket. But that's all right, because it doesn't matter how much you spend if it's quality, and it doesn't matter how much you spend when you bring up the kitty. Today, girl. Mm. Kitty, we spent ninety-eight dollars and fifty cents. Kitty, bring on up, bring on up. How much we will make if it all sells before taxes, before fees, and they're paying their own postage? Kitty, bring it on up, bring it on up. Seven hundred and thirty-five dollars. Seven hundred and thirty-five dollars from three bags, five hours of thrifting. Wow. Kitty, fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, kitty. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, so $735 I can do within my pockets. Thank you very much. Bring it over here to me now. Sell it all straight away. Thank you very much. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks heaps. Uh, subscribe, like, do what the fuck you want. I can't tell you what to do. This is your life. I'm going to keep doing these videos. I'm going to keep doing them. I'm doing them for you. I'm doing it for you. Give the old thumbs up. Do it. Go on, do it. Because I really want you to do it. Sweet ass guys, thank you. That's all I'm doing today. Thank you. It's hot as balls in here. I'm drippy drippy. I'll see you later. See you next episode. Boop.